I've been using 3D fashion design software, both Clothe 3D and Browseware over the last year. And as I've learned more about both, I've had the opportunity to better understand the differences, why I use one versus the other, and what I like about each program. And among the many things that I like about Browseware over Clo is how you can customize the avatar. Welcome or welcome back to my channel. I am Mikkel Drew Pelham, digital fashion specialist and self-professed fashion tech geek. If you're interested and want to learn more about digital fashion design and communication, this is definitely the channel for you. So make sure you subscribe and hit the notification bell so you never miss a video. Okay, so I need you to stay with me on this. I promise it will all make sense. Now, those of you who like 90s hip hop or are fans of A Tribe Called Quest or maybe just a certain age might remember this. 38, 24, 37. So besides this being one of A Tribe Called Quest's most famous songs, that particular line always resonated with me because I understood those proportions. I wasn't exactly the same size, but I had similar proportions and it always made me feel seen because those proportions were not considered standard in fashion. One of my biggest frustrations when I was in my 20s and 30s was shopping for jeans. Now jeans as a category can be more challenging to fit, but my issue was always that if the hips fit, the waist would be too big and vice versa. I'm also short-waisted, so I would regularly have issues with the waist placement on woven tops being too low, which meant I had a little bubble at the back of my shirts because I had to pull the top up to where my waist was so I could button the shirt. Meanwhile, regular length pants were too short, so I always bought tall pants, which would then be a little too long for me because at 5'5", five five, I am not tall at all. Okay, so where am I going with this? For a lot of people, their non-standard bodies and the issues they would have finding clothes that fit is what led them to fashion. So they could design and sew for themselves or people who also experience similar issues. And so if you're using software like Clo or Browseware, those standard size avatars that come with the program are probably not going to match your body. So it's important that you're able to customize them. And Browseware does an amazing job at this. The first thing you want to do is add an avatar to the workspace. An avatar should already be loaded onto the workspace and then to create a new one, choose the plus from the avatars panel, select from template, and then choose which avatar you want to start with. If the template list doesn't have an avatar you want to start with, you could also select an avatar and choose clone avatar, which is what I'm going to do. You're going to be able to customize this, but you'll want to start with something that's close or at least similar to the measurements you need. Name your new avatar and then press OK. The edit avatar panel on the right now appears and gives you lots of options to customize your avatar. If you cloned your avatar, right mouse click over the new avatar and choose edit avatar. The first thing you want to do is choose the texture. And you can choose from a variety to make your avatar appear as realistic or mannequin-like as you want. There's even an option to show fit markers which indicate key points on the body when doing a fitting. Next, you'll choose the avatar friction. And this has to do with how clothing will fit and hang on the avatar. Your options are plastic, human, and cloth. Your garments will look and hang differently if they're on a sleek plastic mannequin versus human skin versus the cloth usually found on a dress form, which FYI will give you the most amount of friction. Next is the prepare pose. How do you want the avatar to be posed when you're putting the clothes on her before she's dressing them? Usually designers pick the A or T pose or just leave it on default. The last option before we get into the measurements is to adjust the distance from ground. So whether you want your avatar's feet on the ground or suspended slightly above it. The arranged section will stay as is, but choose measurements to begin customizing the avatar. 
So if you scroll through, you'll see a lot of the same types of measurements that you can customize in Clo. But there's a few options that are small, but definitely make a difference in how something fits and how well the avatar really mimics your body or your client's body. And if you're creating custom clothing for your clients, this is really going to help you get an even better fit. First, there's the body silhouette. The balance top and bottom options allow you to customize the posture of the avatar. And there's another place you can do more with this as well, but this is where you start. Okay, and here's where I circle back to the tribe line, the buttocks volume. Yes, my hip measurement was wider than standard, but it wasn't just because my shape was very hourglassy. I mean, it was, but that wasn't the only thing adding to that measurement. I was, and still am, as Destiny's Child once put it, bootylicious. And that affects the shape of a great fitting pant. It's not just about making the width of the hip wider. It's also affecting the length and shape of the back rise. So being able to customize the buttocks volume and not just add to overall hip width is very key to ensuring that the bifurcated garment, be that pants, capris, shorts, or whatever, really fits the way that it should. The next section is body posture, also key to a great fit. Everyone's posture isn't the same. So if your client is a little more sway back or hunched, or maybe they have a very arched back, and the bottom posture pokes out a bit, that may change the way you fit a garment on them and how you design as well. This last one I wanna point out is a big deal for those who are designing intimate apparel or if you're designing something that needs to fit tightly or snugly around the bust, and that is the cup. So in both programs, you can adjust the bust and the underbust measurements, which is great, but in browsewear, you can also adjust the cup size which obviously makes a difference in how something will fit, as well as it can affect how you as a designer choose to design the garment. Now, if you're already a Browseware user, vStitcher 301 in Browseware University has a whole section devoted to avatars. And there's a lesson that will also give you some best practices on how to customize your avatar, including a great way to match up your actual fit model or dress form with the avatar you're creating. So check that out when you have a moment. And for those of you who are doing custom clothing and you're planning to incorporate 3D fashion design software, if you're choosing one versus the other, I do think that the added avatar customization is a great reason to choose browseware. What you're doing is all about fit. And so being able to truly have the avatar reflect your client is a big deal. Thanks for watching today's video. If you want to introduce or improve your digital fashion design skills, check out the links in the description to my current courses. And right now, all my online courses are on sale during the month of November. Be sure to like, comment, subscribe, and share this video if you find it helpful. Have a fantastic week, and I'll see you next time.